okay so I'm gonna pick up where I left off in the last video I said I would explain something called parameter input how to get input from the user so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this line int a equals 5 and b equals 3 I'm just gonna remove it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna expand this parentheses I'm going to write here int a comma int b so here we have two numbers a and b two variables a and b the value of which can be whatever the user enters and the sum is stored in the variable called sum and it's printed so all you do is you write the data type and the variable name in the function so here you can have as many as you want you can have int c int d int e int f as many as you want for now since we only need two we can leave it to int a plus b or what I can do is I can let the user enter one number and I can define int b in here as 5 so whatever the user enters plus 5 will be the sum so I hope you've understood now a common problem that can be faced in this method is that let's say you needed the user to enter 20 numbers now it's a bit tedious to go on writing in C in D in E in F till up till the first 20 alphabets you will run out of names what if you had to write 50 you'd have to come up with new names so for that Java has provided you with another sort of a framework to input data which I will go into in the next video for now we'll just stick to this and I will give you one program which I think you should do for homework and just post the code to me on Facebook or post it in the com comments I will tell you whether it's correct or not but now I'm just gonna run this program and show you how it works first you have to create the object now what you do is you right click it you click on void add int a int b it asks you for values for a and b let's say we want a to be 24 and b to be 6 now we know 24 plus 6 is 30 so that's what it should display and here it displays the sum is 30 so you can see that the program works works perfectly fine now one thing I wanted to correct from the last video is I had said in the last video that there is a class called system that has another class called out I beg your pardon what I meant was there is a package called system which has a class called out which has a method called println now a package is nothing but a uh, well a collection of related classes now I could go on and make another class here called subtraction I could make one called division I could make one called multiplication now this is a package my package is called ICSC Java so I hope you understood what a package is so there is a inbuilt package in Java called the system package which has a class called out which has a method called println now this println method is like our add method we can name this method println also so here now I know it's very confusing but we have a method called println there they have a method called println in their class we have it in our class so changing our name back to add in that println method there is probably a parameter that takes in a specific data type in this case we are giving in an int and there is probably one that takes in a string remember I told you about the string data type it's a reference data type a string is nothing but characters bounded by quotes so the sum is is a string and plus just adds this variable the value of this variable sum at the end of this string so I hope you understood that if you have any doubts don't hesitate feel free to message me wherever on Facebook or on YouTube and I hope this helped and I know it's we're going at a good pace right now I know it might be a bit confusing don't get confused try not to and I'll try to clear your doubts so that's all for this tutorial